tell a nigga go get this money. Ran through 20, she keep coming. Fuck few times, little mom keep coming. Send the code, then you finna fuck my stomach. I don't get a gun from Monday to Sunday. Don't know what he said, but it smell like a honey. Running rounds in the gun, baby, bitch keep coming. Mm -hmm. I said I got blue presidents in my jeans. My big dog in a whole nother league. She be calling me back when I leave. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, you said for me, huh? Hey, y'all know what time it is, man. I ain't even finna talk too much. I, I do want, hey. Hey, hey y'all know what time it is. I ain't even finna talk too much. We finna get right to the video. We got my boy Young and Nate reveals why him and JD Young wasn't seeing eye to eye because the young boy, I just told myself I wasn't finna be reacting to a bunch of young boy shit because I know a lot of y'all, everybody don't want to see that. I know a, a good portion of my support system or people that watch me want to see that but a lot of people don't you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna start reacting to all kinds of shit y'all just dropped videos in the comments but anyway we finna knock this video out i told y'all about the brand if you follow me on the ground y'all know i've been working on my clothing brand bro i be putting my all into this i really do fashion my nigga so if you want to shop you can tap in right now i got on our silent tee you go to some of the shirts back here you feel me? Like, i've been giving away free merch like free clothes when people place orders it's gonna be random though so you place your order i'm gonna get it out one or two day shipping y'all can use code day one for this new collection it's pre-order that's gonna sell out our brand page i already got 45,000 followers like i'm talking about thousands thousands of people be tapping in over there it's crazy so it might sell out y'all be dealing me directly saying bro can you i can't save it fool like you gotta tap in you feel me? but anyway let's get to the video i ain't even finna talk too much man I think I got like a little subathon coming up. Then they cuss and that motivated me to do that shit. So y'all tap in for like, I'm here though. I'm probably gonna be on here dropping videos every single day for 30 days straight. Let's do it. Y'all boys on the admit Let's get it, man. Got it. Shopify I, makes I don't it know why I'm starting on the online store. I'm starting on the new sales it. channels. DJ, you go crazy. Long so what's your thoughts on this most recent situation with the BTB Savage guy hold on, hold on, hold on. that was shot and killed? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Houston after he had posted uh, a picture um, at the crime scene. Oh, at the crime scene? Yeah. Uh, he had did a Vlad TV interview. I ain't watched that interview, but my brother was telling me about this. I, I ain't gonna lie, I really don't know too much about that whole story. I, don't even, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even careful even looking to it. Yeah. So, I, like, I'll be trying, like I said, I'll be trying to scout people because I don't, they got their own shit going on, man. You get off track of your shit, that's how you had that. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Well, it's definitely a viral uh, situation, you know, due to the fact that, uh, you know, they, they, they killed an intruder, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a reaction to the next man went on. back and took a picture at where they, you know. They killed him at? Right. And then he posted up on the ground. Then he went and sat down and talked to Vlad about it. And then a couple of days later, you know, is when he was killed himself, you know what I'm saying? So he had a lot of people that were saying, you know, you know, Vlad had something to do with it. You know, they be like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But more so, uh, you know, he probably should never post that picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, How would Vlad have something to do with it? I, I mean, you know, people like to blame it on Vlad because. Yeah. He, 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 he threw the same at me. Right. You, it's, it's on you to even speak on any other situation. You can tell us that. Like, right now, I could just tell you that. I don't want to talk about that. Exactly. That quantum shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. That's on you to do. He ain't got no yeah, it, it ain't got nothing to do with the interviewer, bro. Y'all gotta understand, they gotta do their job. You the one talking. You the one getting. They like me going and sitting into an interrogation room and they start asking you questions. Then y'all say it's the interrogator fault. The fuck is the interrogator fault? Nigga, he doing the job. You the one asking questions. You feel me? So I feel what he said. That like my first interview. I had an interview with DJ Smile Eyes a long time ago, right? I, w I really didn't like the interview because bro ain't asked me nothing about music. We talked before the interview. My nigga asked me no, no, no music questions. None of that. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't like that interview because I wasn't being all the way authentic. It's a lot of stuff I didn't want to speak on about my upcoming, upbringing, struggles, all that because I ain't want to, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, I ain't want my moms to feel offended about that type of shit, you feel me? But I do need, I am gonna do another interview. People have reached out to me about interviews. I'm gonna wait a little long, you feel me? Cause I ain't even been posting. Who the hell gonna, I ain't even been tapped into it, you feel me? But anyway. I still ain't telling you to say it. Niggas just be wanting to say shit, you feel me? Yeah, I don't know, see, I, don't, I doubt that shit, niggas, uh, I don't know. So with your most recent uh, album, Survive by the Trenches, mm -hmm. let's talk about it. It's a real nice record. I like it myself, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Can you tell us the concept behind it, how you came up with it? Or especially how you come up with the title, Survival of the Trenches? Uh, really, my brother came up with this. I ain't gonna lie, some of them titles, my brothers, my, my, 
niggas around me, it'd be coming over. But my, my, especially my brother Keeson, it'd just be like, like, just showing me like, putting life together while I'd be in the studio. He'd be like, but look at this shit, bro. Look how you got here and all this right here. Bro, go with that. And that's survival of the trenches, bro. You know, he'd be saying like that, and I'd be like, yeah, that's, oh, I don't remember that, like that, you yeah. know? Some shit like that, but really, bro, just be, Niggas still surviving this. Trying to, niggas still trying to survive this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But probably you get too comfortable. That's, that's when shit, that when he has slip up. You feel what I'm saying? Slip is kind of. So niggas still trying to survive this. Niggas still, niggas still got that trauma through that shit. That whole little situation growing up. Niggas still fighting through that shit. Trying to get through it to, to better that shit. So niggas still trying to survive. I ain't gonna lie, fool. When, when Ace first came out, I had to feel homie out. I had to feel him out. Because I would listen to his music. And I was like, is Ace really like that? You feel me? Like, that's just me. I would listen to bro music. I remember when he first, first came out, he had like the little scarf around his head. Y'all niggas know I used to wear the scarf around my head heavy. And my fans in the comments, they were like, bro, that nigga trying to be like you. He trying to be like, I went and seen him. I'm like, well, that nigga don't got the scarf on. Nigga, so I thought that was you and some other shit. So I started listening to bro music. And I don't know, like, Ace is his personality. He got a cool little personality, but you know a lot of these rappers, everybody come out gangsta. Everybody super gangsta. I was like, I don't know. But then I saw seeing folks' story unfold and what's going on. I'm like, All right. it ain't no way you can, your stories could be coming out like this if you ain't really outside and getting into us. You feel me? Virus. So I really want to just breaking that down. Like, you feel me? More so, like, give me, I be trying to bring people in on deeper, bring them deeper into my life. Okay. Yeah. Into how I see shit, how I, how I deal with shit, or how I cope with shit. See, I'm the type of nigga, I could like, I could, I could rap and sing, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I can go either way. I can talk about pain, struggle, trip, girl, love, hate. Mm -hmm. I can speak on some. I can go deeper and speak on the universe, like, you feel me? Get deep on shit. I can school shit, like, school you up. Like, you feel me? So, really, I was just trying to bring that shit in there. That was my last album with my label, anyways. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, now I'm completely independent. Okay, you said it was cinematic. Okay. I was just, I was signed to an independent label. Now I'm all the way independent now. Word. I'm just staying independent. Word. I'm on Grammarly Premium, so in addition to automatically checking your spelling, grammar, and punctuation, the premium version Thank also has. I look like yeah, I don't know how to talk. And some of your uh, uh, features on the tape, ESTG, That's my uh, Sleazy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, who, who, who's your favorite rapper to work with? Like, in the, like on that project or like period? Just period. Favorite rapper I want, favorite rapper to work with. Let me answer that, I'm gonna let them get back to it. Let me say my top three orders I wanna work with right now. I feel like me and Money Man will go crazy. I want to do something with Money Man. I don't really listen to niggas, bro. Like, the niggas I do listen to, they don't rap. They don't be on the harmony shit. You feel me? So, the nigga, I want to do something with Money Man. Probably, probably Lil Papa. Money Man, Lil Papa. I want to do something with Sosa, too. Cheeky. But if we going to keep it in, you know, right now. I'll probably get one in with dirt. <laughs> now, now the favorite rapper to work with, period. Well, I said, me and Jay had that, that chemistry. For real. Me and Jay had that chemistry. Yeah, chemistry important. Just going in. Me and Jay used to live together. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Damn near. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we had that type of chemistry. Me and Vaughn had some shit. We only made like three, four songs. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to get on a song with Vaughn for sure. Me and Vaughn some more shit. See me and Vaughn can do an album too, feel me? But like, I like working with G too, though. We don't, I ain't gonna lie, we, ain't, with me and G, we don't really most so be on rapping shit. Right. We most so be on like, some brother, brother shit, like, we'll go right Bro sound like, bro got it, he covering his hand, but like a girl talking about her boyfriend or something, like, yeah, we more sure be on. Put your hand Touch the mic. How good that? That's how I used to be with Jan, Jan and Vaughn, though, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, right, so it's what was, crazy. Uh, what, what was going on Jada Young and, and two of the bell before he died? Because I heard you say on record that yeah. y'all weren't even seeing eye to eye that when was, he passed away. What was y'all in two of the bell, if you don't mind sharing? Really, bro? I, I, like, I really don't want to say that, that young boy shit. But I know that kind of took a toll on, on us because he was more on some shit. Like, he, want, he didn't want me to get in it, though, you know what I'm saying? But like, I mean, he told me that. But shit, you know, you got a brother, shit. It's like, damn, you my brother, but shit, you ain't got my back, though. Type shit. Feel me? But I don't know, know fool, because when I seen these two niggas, like him and Youngin, him and Youngin was super close. Like him and Youngin, like, I seen so many videos of these niggas on the same label. I seen so many of these niggas like slap boxing or just around each other in the car, walking through the hills in LA, like walking in the neighborhood. Like these niggas got so many videos. I ain't never really seen him and young boy like in videos like that. I seen them niggas probably talk one time. I think it was a long time ago when somebody got out of jail or something like that. I ain't really see them talking that much. So the relationship he, uh, you know, I guess he finna say, like, you my brother, you ain't got my back. I'm guessing he's saying he was cool with young boy, too. Like, he said he didn't want him to get in it. Me, personally, I feel like uh, you supposed to rock with young. And that's just my opinion because y'all niggas super close. It's like me and my nigga, me and my nigga D-Mill. Y'all know, bro, shoot all my videos. Let's say he start beefing with a nigga that I'm cool with, right? But I'm with D-Mill all the time. I might start... I might, I gotta figure the situation out first. I ain't finna just stop rocking with a nigga cause you said it and you the one did something flaw. I gotta figure out the situation. If you the one did something flaw, I'ma tell you like, hey bro, you need to go talk to him like, you tripping nigga, you the one did this, I'ma tell you my point of view. But if his bro doing something flaw, I be to told him like, hey, you tripping nigga, you gotta, you feel me? But if it's just something that, you know, I feel like, ah, right, that's between them two, I'm probably gonna stay out of it, I ain't gonna lie. I feel him, I'm probably gonna stay out of it. But if it get deadly, you gotta you gotta choose a side or just leave both of them niggas alone. I'ma just be a hundred cut. And it depends on how how strong I rock with y'all. If I rock with both of y'all tough and y'all nigga want me to, hey man, y'all nigga figure that out, bro. Y'all nigga don't come talk to me to y'all get what y'all got going on out the way. That's just me. You feel me? But that's just me. Cause if I rock with you hard and we I rock with both of y'all hard, like a deep, 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 deep friendship. Y'all got to figure that out, bro. Don't come talk to me about none of that. That's just how I feel. Both of y'all my brothers, though. Feel what I'm saying? But it wasn't really most something about it. Wasn't, it wasn't even really that. It was really on some shit. Like, we just, like, we just weren't really talking to some shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was some, 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 some other little shit going on and shit, but that's my dog, though, bro. Feel mm -hmm. me? Like, his mama, like, my mama, his grandma, his daddy, you know, his, his brother, his sister, them, like, you feel me? His whole family over there, I know all that. You know what I'm saying? I used to stay at his grandma's house and shit with him and shit. You feel right, me? Right. Like right now. Yeah, that's how you know they rock with him. Grandma texts his mama and daddy. You feel me? Still to the day. And like, it was just some bullshit that we could have just talked about. Mm -hmm. Some people had some little arrogant shit going on that we could have just. He went over there. He'd be like that pride. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm like, I ain't calling that nigga. He gonna call. He gonna call. And he on the same type of time, on. Mm -hmm. You feel me? When that shit was some bullshit, and it, but even if he called me, I was gonna answer. Like, I'm called away from that. It, same thing with him. I right. was calling him. Right. If he needed something, he know like I was been there. And if the same thing with me, if I need something, I could call him still to day. Even the day before he died, I could have called him. Hey, brother, I love you. We at, bro. Feel what I'm saying? Like yeah, just. It be out. like that though, man. I remember thinking about my day one nigga. Me and that nigga used to be beefing all the time, going outside hooping. I ain't talking about Kidro. I'm talking about like one of my other homies. We used to be outside hooping. Me and that nigga were together so much, like, if one of us ain't come outside, niggas are asked, like, hey, bro, what, what's the name of that shit? I don't know. Well, I remember one time we were hooping. Gang told me we, we were hooping, right? And then this it's something I said to somebody before, too. He was like, I know something you can't beat me in, though, because I'm whooping his ass. And the crazy part is, them niggas used to, like, hoop. Like, bro had handles and some more shit. Like, it's crazy, because back then, he ain't really have handles, but he had more handles than, like, what we would have back then. So he couldn't even dribble. Now that I think about it, that nigga had no hammers. He just had one little move. So he hit that one little uh, uh, right? But I'm, I'm whooping his ass that day. I'm beating his ass. I was the one that was sleep on. I'm beating his ass because I was unpredictable. 
One day I come out, have a good day. Next day I'm trash. So they used to think like, ah, oh, he, you feel me? I'm whooping bro head. He said, I know something you can't beat me in, though. I'm like, what? I knew what he finna say. He's in my D hands. I'm like, what the fuck? Me, what you, you feel me? What you trying to say? So we were, we were like finna squabble, but we didn't squabble. Everybody was like, y'all know how to make beat. And after that, it was like tension. We'll get to the bus stop. We usually stand together. This time we all stand in a circle here. I'm looking that way, he looking that way. Niggas will be laughing like, and how we got cool, how we got cool again, nobody even said nothing to each other. We just bust out laughing like, we'll look, one person look, and then we start laughing. Next day we outside hooping again like, that shit crazy, bro. Them type friendships, you want to keep it. Like, probably like, like a, a year before that. I mean, we didn't talk, we didn't even talk before I even, he was getting out. And before that, before he went in, we weren't even talking for and I said, I'm going to pick him up. Mm. Like, you feel me? That's my brother. He, that they still my brother. That's just like how me and my real brothers, we fight. I'm mean, going to talk to my brother for a little bit. But if he called me, I bet I beat up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was some bullshit, bro. That shit, that shit ain't had no meaning to it, bro. It was some bullshit, bro. That shit went out. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of regret that shit, though, because that shit have called his ass. Mm -hmm. And he could have called me. I ain't, even, when he, when, I ain't even go to his cast. I ain't even look at him now before he... Yeah, I, I hate funerals, man. Like, I, I hate funerals. You was at the funeral, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even want that to be the last time I even seen him. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I hate funerals. I know they say it's a celebration of life, but I just hate the energy around funerals. Like, I just I don't like funerals, man. Last time I, seen him. I ain't even wanted to go out like that. Yeah. So what is your favorite memory with him, though? Bro, we got too many memories, bro. Like I said, bro, we down to live with each other, bro. We with each other every day, bro. Every time I got booked for a show, he got booked for a show. Every time he got that's your brother, show, bro. That's the one you're supposed like, to rock out with, man. It was just like some Ace and J shit, J and A shit, you feel me? So it's like, we was on the same but I feel him, level, though. too, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, he got too many memories, bro. My girl and his girl's friends and shit. Okay. My mama loved his ad to death. His mama, it was too many memories, cuz. We got some shit. This nigga got funny, funny as hell. He had a character, bro. Y'all got a whole tape together. Yeah, that boy say he funny. Yeah, fuck, they seem like cool nigga, man, tight nigga. Y'all got some homies, bro. Y'all wanna stay cool with y'all homies. And I did, I did forget to say in the beginning of the video, my nigga, my earrings on the left side. I don't know if I'm gonna flip my video or not, but the face on my shirt probably be flipped. If it's flipped, earring flipped. Them flip, uh, everything flipped. I ain't with that uh, little Nas X shit. You feel, I don't got nothing against y'all niggas, but we don't do that over here. And I ain't worried about no cancellation, nigga, cause you can't, how the fuck you gonna cancel me? Cause I say, I don't do that. They're like, nigga say he don't hoop. And the, the hooping community say, we cancel your ass. Nigga, fuck it, nigga, I don't do it. And I don't care who like it, you feel That's you and your ass, nigga. <laughs> but anyway, man, y'all drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. I'm gonna try to knock some more videos out. Right, remember I said y'all can use code day one to shop this collection. I'm only leave that up for like two days. It's, it's one day now. Well, it's two days. Cause I ain't gonna drop yesterday's video. So it's two days. I don't know what's today, the night on the 11th, it won't work no more. So yeah, go ahead and get them. Anyway, I gotta bring on some more videos. So then I gotta start the videos, get them in. Yeah.